I'm Alan, this is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More, and this is the Smart Gun. No, it's not one of those guns that knows who it belongs to and won't shoot for anyone else. This gun is a lot smarter than that, because that's a damn dumb idea. This gun is going to save lives. It's going to save lives because it's a train pistol that fills the gap between a blue gun and a red gun. For those of you who do not know what blue guns and red guns are, a blue gun is those solid rubber plastic guns. I'm sure some of you have seen them on TV shows or go to a gun show. They use them to put into holsters. They can't fire. They're just a solid piece of rubber that looks like a gun. Those guns are used in what they call mat training. When they're on the mats and they're practicing self-defense, that's the gun they use where the police officer learns how to disarm someone who has it, or in karate class, or wherever you're learning self-defense. Those are the guns they use instead of real guns. This gun could take that place. It's orange, so it's easily, you can tell it's not a real gun. It's hard, it's solid, it's not gonna fall apart or break when you drop it or it gets kicked around or thrown around. But this one has an active magazine release. It also has the ability to put a laser from Laser Ammo, great company, great product. Their logo is even on the side of it because it was this gun was designed to handle that. You can put that in there and it will show you if you pull the trigger, laser beams emitted, it will show you an active hit if you have an active hit target on the person or thing that it's being pointed at. It takes the place of a red gun for that same reason. Red guns are very expensive item, it looks like a real gun, handles like a real gun. You go into a simulator, you go through scenarios, you pull the trigger, a laser beam goes off, hits the bad guy, and they go down in the simulator or uh, an alarm goes off, lets you know that you've made a good hit. The problem is this, every 33 seconds, a police officer accidentally discharges his firearm when he didn't mean to pull the trigger. They pull it out of the holster and it goes off. And, the, and in some cases, and someone's hurt, maimed, or killed. A lot of police officers have lost their jobs because of it, departments have been sued because of it, people have lost lives because of it, families have been wrecked because of it. It's a terrible situation. Departments that have used this gun, one in particular, I won't mention the department, but they were having almost 18 accidental discharges a week. It's less than 18 a month now. Shortly after, putting this gun into operation and training. So a red gun is used in that simulator and the blue gun is used on the mat. And this gun, yeah, okay, it can cross both sides, but how does that save lives? How does that make the training any better? The reason it makes it better is it fills a gap that all that training misses. And that's why those two training types of situations fail with accidental discharge. This gun, if you put your finger on the trigger, an alarm goes off. It is set up per the SOP, standard operating procedures of a police department. So depending on what the police department's operating procedures are, this could be set up to fill in their training. So whether you're on the mat or you're in a simulator, this one section of this gun follows you through the whole process. So you're always being trained to keep the finger off of the trigger until you're ready to fire. It makes that sound as an indicator that the gun is discharged. It's not supposed to sound like a real gun, so don't start saying, it doesn't sound like a real gun. It's not supposed to sound like a real gun. It's just supposed to let you know you pulled the trigger. It sounds cool to me. <laughs> so what this does is this. You're on the mat, you're training, you're still, even in close combat, you don't pull, put your finger on the trigger, you can shoot yourself before you get it up on target. You pull the gun out, you get it on target, either one hand or two hand. See, it rang because I, I took too long to fire. You pull it, aim, pull it. However you need to do it, you pull it and you fire. Now, some operating uh, standards in some places, like New York City, you shoot an assailant, you take your finger off the trigger, and you, post the downed, you approach the downed assailant, making sure that they are immobilized and ready for transport or whatever you're going to do in it might be suffolk county it might be westchester but one of them is the opposite it, <coughs> sound is down you keep your finger on the trigger you approach the assailant you make sure that they are neutralized before you take your finger off the trigger and holster your gun this could be set up for either one of those scenarios that's the beauty of it from mat training all the way through up and including laser training in the simulator you're getting your finger control under control. And that's the biggest problem is, yeah, they say you keep your finger off the trigger, but how, when you're training someone, do you know that it's actually happening? You don't. And no one's gonna say, oh, I accidentally put my finger on the trigger. So what this does is if a 
you're training five guys and when one alarm goes off, it even has a light to indicate which officer failed. And by using this situation throughout the whole training, from mat to scenario, live fire, you are going to have police officers who by the time they're done training, they are mechanically, they have the muscle memory to mechanically make sure they keep their finger off the trigger until they're ready to shoot. It's not a thought process any longer. It's the mechanics of their body, muscle memory. That is why they went from 18 a week down to 18 a month because it becomes part of you. Who's using this gun? Well, right now, the NYP, Suffolk County, New York, Long Island, Boston PD, Phoenix PD, New Orleans PD, Anchorage, Alaska, Tacoma, Nevada, uh, Minicapa, and Douglas County Sheriff's Departments, Miami, Broward, U.S. Army, Israeli Interior Police Department. That's just a few. That is just a few of the people using this gun. I am going to be handling all of the Florida distribution of this gun. And anyone in Florida that has anything to do with training, whether you're with the police departments, you're with loss prevention, you are part of security guards, anyone doing any kind of training, even civilian training. This is great to teach civilians concealed carry, how to draw their guns safely and protect themselves. Any of these training facilities, please, you can contact me either by email, message me here on this video, or call me and I will hook you up. If you are outside of Florida watching this video and you want to learn know more about it and who to contact, do the same thing and I'll send you the guys that can get you involved. It's not an expensive piece. This is extremely affordable. It's more than a blue gun, but a lot less than a red gun. It's, it's affordable for all the different departments, all the different people. You can buy this as an individual if you just want to train yourself too. There's no problem with that. What I want to see is I want to see safer streets. I want to see safer police officers. I don't want police officers trying to do their job and just because of the lack of training that they've been given, improper training, that their lives are in danger or innocent life. No police officer wants to take the life of an innocent. So blue lives matter. This gun matters. Let's get it into the police department's hands. Let's get them the ability to train properly and be safe out there. This gun comes like you see it. This is an M&P. It also comes looking like a Glock. So whether your department handles Glock or M&P, we can take care of that. It's coming out in some other models and other uh, differences like pullable slide. It does have magazine release for magazine release training. It has a rail on the front. And um, other than that, you know, like I said, it rings if you put the finger on the trigger. It has an indicator to show discharge. It does everything you need it to do. I hope you're going to invest in safety. Thank you from Allen's Firearms. Until next time.